Hello students, today we will be discussing about optical fiber and its uses. Optical fiber is a very fine uh, straw like uh, very thin uh, uh, material made up of uh, some uh, quartz like uh, material or uh, synthetic material fine in the form of very fine straw like and uh, it has the ability to to bend the light inside and still maintain the light to move inside the uh, fibers it basically is made up of uh, two parts one is the core part of the fiber the core part is called the uh, the inside part is called the core and the outside part which uh, envelops the core that uh, outside part is called uh, cladding so basically it is core and cladding that they are of uh, different uh, refractive index so materials are different and uh, their uh, refractive uh, index uh, also varies the core is having a greater refractive index compared to its the uh, the outer part of the layer that is called cladding so light when enters it moves from uh, core towards the so when it wants to escape it's transparent it is transparent even if it is transparent it cannot escape the outer surface because uh, light once enters the it undergoes uh, total internal reflections so because of total internal reflections it cannot come out of the cladding to the atmosphere so the so because of the phenomenon of uh, total internal reflections it is bent, it bends towards the um, inside and uh, is reflected so again uh, when it is reflected and uh, finds another uh, surface uh, uh, to escape again uh, it is reflected back so it undergoes the multiple uh, reflections and then uh, this way the light has to travel in zigzag manner to the other end of the uh, tube or uh, other end of this fiber so <clears throat> let us see optical fiber is a straw like structure uh, like this uh, we have a two like structure <clears throat> the outer part the outer part this is the outer surface this is the inner surface this is a map of uh, fiber quad like structure the outer one is called uh, this is called cladding this inner part is called the uh, core this material and that materials are different and this uh, cladding is the cladding is uh, made up of different material okay? it's a refractive, uh, refractive index for this uh, cladding and the refractive index of uh, core both are different here it is uh, denser so this is rarer so less than that generally it is 1.7 and 1.5 so this is uh, 1.5 and this is 1.7 when light enters when the ray of light enters like that so it bends it is reflected back because uh, now it is moving from this uh, denser medium towards the rarer medium so it is uh, reflected back and again find the same thing that the angle of incidence will be greater than the much much greater than the critical angle so again it is reflected back so therefore the ray of light inside the optical fiber undergoes multiple reflections okay so it undergoes multiple reflections and finally it comes out of the tube in whatever direction it comes out so this way light is uh, the intensity of light 
which enter and the intensity of light which uh, comes out are almost the same because uh, the light is not uh, coming out of the surface that means there is no refraction so there is no loss of intensity again that the uh, incident light and the reflected light uh, almost they have the same intensity because uh, the material itself that uh, that is very uh, minimum possibility of absorption of light uh, due to reflections so the cladding uh, uh, very rarely absorbs light therefore uh, negating that part almost the intensity of light whatever intensity it enters with the same intensity which comes out okay <coughs> because of uh, there is no transmission uh, because of there is no uh, <coughs> reflection of light only reflection so the part of the light uh, is only very minutely absorbed but it almost uh, we neglect that the intensity remains almost the same okay now what is the use of this optical fiber now in today's technology optical fiber network is mostly used for uh, communication for uh, 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 data transfer for uh, audio signals for video signals uh, they are all used for uh, communication system so basically i just uh, talk about two things one is the in uses is uh, This is a medical use that is a communication system and communication system the optical fiber uh, is uh, nowadays are mostly used optical network and uh, uh, that is for uh, audio video uh, signal transfer and the medical is the endoscopy is uh, where uh, in endoscopy <coughs> uh, when uh, yeah, that, that is the instrument used to see the uh, endoscope that instrument is to see the things inside the inside the body uh, if you want to see something inside this endoscope is used but uh, you can see the this is allowed to enter into the body and they can see they take the picture and you can see uh, the uh, object which is inside so to see inside parts we use that in <coughs> medicine in uh, endoscopy so these are the fuses and uh, now we we'll move to the to our next uh, video so for this video thank you very much